Okay, it's Monday. That means it's game night. The Fat Rabbit tonight. Um, we have a m game night every Monday on an old on Sutter Street at the Fat Rabbit. And um, got a few new games I was going to show you before we show you what came in today. Um, got Beastie Bar. Beastie Bar. If you play any of those lot like called Lion games, like uh, Guillotine or Family Business, this is definitely what might be right up your alley. Um, it's basically it's about a game about uh, these little cool. Uh, looking and animals are trying to get into this uh, you know hot new club so they're trying to get in line and the bouncers boot, booting on the people they don't want and all the special cards have, the, have their own special abilities and how the line changes but if you like that type of game this was pretty quick and easy and and the cards look really great they're huge and they're really great artwork on them um, we got lanterns we've been added to our cart this is getting a lot of play like one of our regulars brought this one in um, for quite a while, so it's been a lot of play even before I brought uh, added it to their cart. Um, so I think I explained how it plays before, but it's basically it's a tile line game. You lay down tiles and you get a card based on what side of the uh, tile you're, you're sitting on. And you're also giving other players a tile, so you want to be careful not to give other players the game while you're trying to get what you're trying to get. But it's a real simple, elegant style game if you like uh, things like... Uh, um, Splendor and that sort of things like that's definitely probably right up your alley. Um, just I just learned this one and hopefully we're trying to play it tonight um, among whatever games to get played. Uh, Lords Exit Exit Lords Exit. Um, How are you supposed to say it? Um, basically, it's a fantasy run around destroy monsters, but it's it's really unique the way they do it. It's doesn't <laughs> it plays a lot different from, from your typical run around and kill monster type game. Um it feels very euro y and the end scoring on this one is really cool. It's like a it feels like a to me feels like a turn tournament uh elimination type of scoring. It's like if you have like one thing you get eliminated at the start or at the uh, at first scoring phase and the third second scoring phase more people get eliminated until there's basically there's only one left but yeah it's really cool hopefully we'll get playing it tonight we got uh the witches you know terry pratchett's the witches i haven't played this at all or really looked into it too terribly deep but we do have this one added to our cart now and finally we got uh, relic hunters relic hunters is you know by days of wonder and they do a really good job of their uh you know production values really cool little bits all these you know artifacts basically running around the jungle like indiana jones gathering up all these artifacts um it should be real simple to play based on the the reputation and, and how well, i've heard about this game but i haven't really played it yet but i've um, heard a lot of great things about it though and see here's what we got in today in today's shipment we'll be getting a few more shipments in this week because there's a bunch of smaller ones being scattered throughout so um we got bop it micro bop it back in and micro simon um bop it basically is a you you um trying to go to the pattern go Yeah, that's card to do it's one-handed, but that's the idea. It's like you play it multiplayer, you play it solo, and we also get the you know Simon slide or Simon, which is a classic. We also have Simon slide, which is like the larger version. We also got Monopoly Star Wars back in. This is uh, there's been talk about a version of it uh, coming out with Ray as one of the pieces. Um, this version of the Star Wars one is like made before the movies ever came out, so they had no idea how the movie is going to come um, turn out. Who's going to be the main characters? I mean, they have um, based on the trailers. I imagine that's what they went off of because they had Finn in there. And if you remember the old trailers for Force Awakens, the, he was kind of uh, looked like he was pretty going to be the, the main focus. Um, but they also had Luke Skywalker, which is barely in the movie, and they had Darth Vader, which is basically spoilers. It's just a melted mask in the movie. And um, see so what else we got. Uh, we got the uh, Despicable Me um, Game of Life. If you're a big fan of the Minions, which you know a lot of people are, especially these little bits look really, really cool. Um, so that's that. If you like that type of games, are a great family type of game. 
um, classic. So um, there's that, and we got Chutes and Ladders, which is also a classic first game type of game. It's the uh, Superheroes Adventures um, version. Got a little Spider-Man, looks like, who is that? <laughs> So oh, that must be Abomination. Got Electro. I'm not sure who the other people are. I'm not sure who that one is. But anyway, we got that. It's a great first game type ones. It's not a lot of strategy. It's not supposed to be. It's about, you know, a lot of it's all about learning how to count and sort of things. But yeah, let's see. And we got Taboo back in. Um, this one it always holds a little interest for me just because uh, Back when I was younger, many, many years ago, it's like we used to play you know, all the geeky, allegedly geeky uh, type games. You know, your, your role playing games and your, you know, you know, things like Whiz War and Cosmic Encounter and things like that. And we always uh, unlovingly used to call these like yuppie games, all the party games that were popular in the time. But it's like, you know, eventually we started playing these because, you know, you know, some of the other people in our group got girlfriends and eventually wives and you kind of start playing some of these and despite myself you know i had a ball it's like i don't want to play this and but it's you know, i had a blast playing it anyway so oh i guess it's okay anyway so i really don't poo poo party games at all anymore they're all great about you know having great time with friends and laughing and that's the whole point of most party games and that one does a great job of it let's see we got ascension back in our distributors are starting to get low so we actually got two of them um, if you like deck building games, a lot of people do Dominion. They've been like going to this one as their, their current go-to. So this one's been real popular. We have quite a few of the expansions as well. So these are just the main games that we just got back in. So we got a few bunch of the, those in. And let's see what else we got. Operation, another classic. We try to do the, get the classics in here because we try to have uh, games that pretty much for everybody um so we got a boggle back in we also have like super boggle and a super big boggle i could find it there they are um basically on those versions uh, they're just larger like the uh was that three four five the big boggles five by five and the other one's six by six and the original one's like a four by four so if you want to mix things up you, you have your multiple choices and way you want to go then we got uh frozen jenga which is actually a pretty unique spin-off a lot of times when they do these uh theme uh re-theming throwing a theme atop of another existing game they really don't put much thought into it but a lot of times a lot of times they do and like in this one basically as opposed to regular Jenga, we're just pulling up blocks with your hand and trying to stack it up on top. You're using the uh, little wand and it to knock out the little uh, blocks from the ice wall. Then you have to stack them up on top and you're trying to be the first person to get that little uh, tower um, 10 high on the top. So this is like definitely a <laughs> really unique twist or uh, a little different spin on the uh, traditional Jenga type stuff. And as you can tell, it's pretty detailed looking tower so you could build a also a little, little ice palace which is kind of cool for all those frozen fans out there and then we got letters from white chapel back in basically it's been a real this is a real popular manhunt type game basically you're running around trying to search for um, jack the ripper it's like all the other the players might be investigators and one of the players might be jack the ripper so you're trying to hunt them down so um that one's real popular we also have another comparable one another manhunt one that's been real popular was like fury of dracula so we do have that one as well and let's see what else do we got we got oh oh yeah spyfall spyfall has been people have been calling in all week about this one um this blew out really fast and we've been just got them in we got a few more on the way we got six of them here actually one of them is on hold so right now we only have five available so this is a kind of a social deduction type game where you got uh, one of the people are, are is a spy and all the other players know where they are in their in the locations. Um, they might be in the airport, might be in the hospital or wherever it happens to be. And they're basically, they're all asking questions, trying to figure out who the spies are and the spies trying to figure out where everybody else is actually located. So that it's been a real popular one. Um, so we got those back in and let's see we also got in these more player mats for this basically for magic the gathering little game mats we got uh started bringing them 
in and we got a few of them up here oh so we got quite a few of them going and we also have oh we also got these which are like for x-wing these are like three by three mats and also got this large one it's a big terrain map be great for something like um imperial Sol or, or if you just want to have a x-wing battle over a on a planet or something like that it's a really good one for that so we're adding more of these back in so that's what these are they got the uh, avenging angel and what was this one the call the calling of Edeon, whatever <laughs> whatever it's called and we also got x-wing tie fighter and um or tie defender and the carax fighter um we're having a we're trying to start a x-wing uh, game day every sunday here at the game getaway um starting from 11 to whenever people want to stop so we're trying to get that going and then that's starting next week which is the 13th i think um anyway so we're trying to do that so if you're interested come on down we're starting at like 11 we're trying to get more people um coming down so we definitely got a good uh, amount of people that are interested in x-wing do, do do come in the store and if you're looking for a play i played this one last week iota this one's like a, a real teeny 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 little box but it actually takes a, a fair amount of the table and you actually start playing it um, some people com uh, were describing it as a combination of quirkle and sequence so it gets this game i was, <laughs> you probably want to be properly caffeinated because it, it's, it's really interesting because so when you play them the, the uh tiles out you're trying to uh it kind of creates rules on how the rest of them are going to be played but yeah it's real simple but sometimes it takes a little while to figure out how the uh rules are playing out in that one and i think that's about it um we are getting some more stuff in tomorrow which um actually um tomorrow's shipment we got um uh, the smash up expansion your fault it's your fault coming in we have a few people that are calling in for that so we got a good number about at least four of those coming in it looks like so we got that coming in and we also got uh the day after that it looks like we're getting some game bits back in which i'll have to show you then um some real cool little bits where you can upgrade your your games which people like to do or pimp them out say so like to say and that's about it we'll show you a few things when they come in and we'll talk to you next time bye